the transits of Mercury in December 2022. Life without communication in this day and age, when communication and information technology has blasted over the roof even into the other worlds, is unthinkable. Businesses, markets, global economy depend on communications and gadgets now. That is why Mercury and the transit of Mercury, the winged messenger of gods, assumes relevance. This December 3rd, Mercury moves to Sagittarius, the Narashi, the Jupiter's turf. Mercury goes retrograde many times owing to its proximity to the Sun, hence taking lesser time, approximately 88 days, to revolve around the Sun, unlike the Earth, which takes 365 days. In December 2022, Mercury transits from Scorpio to Sagittarius on the 3rd, to Capricorn, Makar Rashi, on the 28th, back to Sagittarius on the 30th as retrograde, according to the sidereal calculations of Vedic astrology. A retrogression is an illusion where a planet appears to go backward, which does not happen for real but owing to the relative position of the planet and the Earth. Mercury is a Somya planet which is very diplomatic and considered the prince, ruling over communication, business, intellect, nervous system, speech, as well as learning capabilities. With that said, let's see what the Mercury's multiple transits this December hold for you. Aries, Mesh Rashi, and Mercury transit December 2022. In Sagittarius, the ninth house of spirituality, father, and higher learning, the Mercury transit could bring about a pilgrimage, buying a new vehicle, or a golden time for the father. It also indicates good luck and successful guidance at the right time. In Capricorn, the workplace may become the backdrop of some faulty communications. Be cautious before you criticize. Workplace communications tend to go faulty during the retrograde, which is the final Mercury retrograde of the year. Taurus, Rishabharashi, and Mercury transit December 2022. This Mercury transit in Sagittarius, the 8th house, brings about angered communications and consequential losses, especially with the Mars aspect due to the Mars transit in Taurus. Mercury is the lord of the 2nd and 5th houses, hence, speech, relationships, and family are areas to which you should give due care. During the Mercury transit in Capricorn, the 9th house, there would be luck dawning on the romantic front and the retrograde will most likely mislead you with someone talking you into losses. Gemini, Mithun Rashi, and Mercury transit December 2022. Gemini is the natural house of Mercury, and the transit of Mercury in Sagittarius, the seventh house, would bring a lot of good partnerships, and being the lord of the fourth house, there will be a lot of good times with the mother. Your domestic front will be buoyant. You will be lucky with vehicles. The transit of Mercury in Capricorn, the 8th house could bring some unease at the physical and psychological levels. A great time to study the occult or get involved in the same. The retrograde will affect the thinking patterns, hence be mindful. Cancer, Karkarashi, and Mercury transit December 2022. Mercury being the lord of your 3rd and 12th house, is transiting the 6th house of enemies and litigations. Be careful with your communications especially in the social media as it could bring in unnecessary conflicts and a possibility of court cases. Your criticisms could be met with strong resentment. This is an ideal time if you are looking for a foreign career gig or journey. Beware of your pocket slash purse and invest wisely. When transiting Capricorn, it could bring up verbal clashes with your spouse or partners. In the retrograde phase, you will tend to get misled by communications related to health. Leo, Simha Rashi, and Mercury transit December 2022. The natural 2nd and 11th house Lord Mercury transits the 5th house. The time is ripe for those waiting for a soulmate. The flow of income could increase especially through speculation. But during the transit of Mercury in Capricorn, you have to be careful about your investments. You have to be wary about your speech, as it could affect the family ties. During the retrograde, you could blurt out things which may affect your love life or mental peace. Virgo, Kanya Rashi, and Mercury transit December 2022. The transit of Mercury which is the Ascendant Lord and the Lord of the 10th house for Virgo, is going to be in the 4th house of family, mother and domestic comforts. 
You will develop a deeper bond with your mother and get involved in domestic activities with enthusiasm. Developers and builders will find extraordinary success during this time. Buying a new vehicle is also on the cards. In Capricorn, the fifth house related studies and speculation would bloom for you. And to top it, the retrograde wants you to be wary of the communications at the home front. Libra, Tula Rashi, and Mercury Transit December 2022. The written word will bring you success and fame. The Lord of the 12th and 9th is brought to the third house with this transit of Mercury in Sagittarius. Siblings could get their lucky streaks now and you will have to travel a lot. Writers, this is the right time to get your book or article published. During the Mercury transit in Capricorn, there could be unnecessary expenses related to home and an increase in spiritual activities. The retrograde of course warns you to take care of your mobile phone and laptop, and to set proper boundaries with neighbors. Scorpio, Vrishchik Rashi, and Mercury Transit December 2022. The transit of Mercury, the Lord of 11th and 8th house in Sagittarius, which is the second house, ought to increase your investments. Those in the sales and marketing will make money with their gift of the gab. In Capricorn, Mercury Transit is in the third house, which again brings in the money flow through enterprise. You should be careful in your journeys though. The retrograde could bring miscommunications especially with the immediate family. Sagittarius, Dhanus Rashi, and Mercury Transit December 2022. This Mercury Transit brings the 7th and 10th Lord to the Ascendant, which means a start of a relationship or a happy reunion. This placement is extremely lucky for those in the banking, teaching, media and research sectors particularly, and you will see your career ambitions skyrocket and success will entail. In the Capricorn, there would be workload that would affect family ties though family life will be peachy throughout. Meaningful partnerships also might come up. The retrograde Mercury will want you to take criticisms constructively and not to lose heart. Capricorn, Makar Rashi, and Mercury Transit December 2022. The transit of Mercury the Lord of 6th and 9th house in the 12th, will explode the expenses part. Hospitalizations and secluded existence can also be read in this context. But it is a great time for students aspiring to go abroad. In the Capricorn transit of Mercury also, there are indications of health hazards and hospitalizations. So please exercise caution. The retrograde Mercury will want you to be careful about your buys and chill more often. Aquarius, Kumbrashi, and Mercury Transit December 2022. Mercury Transit for Aquarius will bring the Lord of the 5th and 8th to the 11th house of Sagittarius. There could be obstacles in the inflow of income. But it will be a good time for romance. Do not share anything controversial or scandalous with friends. In Capricorn, the 12th house Mercury will interfere with the education and communication. There could be rejection in a romantic proposal. The retrograde Mercury wants you to be careful about your communication with your friends. Pisces, Mean Rashi, and Mercury Transit December 2022. The transit of Mercury is in the 10th house, and being the lords of the F 4th and 7th houses, there could be workload on the domestic front, or efforts required related to spouse or mother business will prove to be successful for you and could blossom during this time. You could also experience success and recognition at work. With the Capricorn transit, it will further enhance income and networks. With the retrograde Mercury, you could mishandle official communication. Mercury is all about thinking and talking. Hence, bite your tongue more often. That will do good as a remedy, though traditionally, Mercury is pleased when you respect the third gender and donate green-colored items. Worshipping Lord Krishna, who is a master communicator even at the war front motivating Arjuna, is said to improve your Mercury. And the Mercury will meet you many times next year too, 